Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. God, my skin is bad today. Can't win them all. So before we even get into this, I just wanna put out a super quick disclaimer, what have you. I normally would never ever advocate buying an impulse animal, getting an animal without doing your research. So before we even get into this video, I just wanna put that out there. Although I definitely was not planning on buying this animal this month, it is something that I have been researching for a couple of months now. I'm an adult, I'm grown, I pay my own bills, I'm able to support these animals. You'll notice that I have significantly less animals than some other people on YouTube, and that's not meant to throw anybody under the bus. I know my own personal limits and what I can maintain, and this animal falls within the range of time and resources that I can dedicate. Just a little quick backstory before we get into the actual vlog. I have been doing some research into getting an anemone for my saltwater tank for a little while now, uh, probably about six months. And I've just kind of been waiting for my tank to mature. Anemones uh, should be introduced to mature tanks. Not necessarily years and years and years mature tanks, but they're not something that you want to put in a tank that isn't quite established yet. So I wanted to give mine the best possible chance at doing well in my tank. I've been taking this tank really slow, partially to stay within a budget because I am grown and pay my own bills, <laughs> you may recall. When I found an anemone listed online, I was like over the moon <laughs> and I immediately texted her and was like I guess I guess this is the time <laughs> a bunch of a bunch of stars just happened to align and now I have an enemy that's the short version yay roll footage <laughs> why is it every time I film me and Shelby in the in this car we we're getting some kind of an animal that was not planned <laughs> at least we're not driving an hour this is true. Found a bubble tip anatomy on online for sale from a girl. Um, and then the online messenger that we were using to like coordinate the sale stopped working. So we're just gonna go to our house and see if she's <laughs> ready to sell it. And hopefully everything is fine. Oh my god, it's so little. I'm so excited. Anyway, so he looks sad and pathetic right now. But we go and get him home and get him acclimating. He's actually not that closed up. I'm kind of surprised. Anyway, he looks super good. I'm really excited. Get him home, get him in a bucket. Okay, this might be a bad idea. Hello. You're not gonna sting? Okay, dope. Come here, give me your foot. Okay. Yeah, this is better than the tongs. That's not where I want you to go. Come here. Don't fall, don't sting. All of these things. And I have like five seconds before the clownfish start trying to bite me. Ah! Okay. Just go where I want you to go. Don't touch it, clownfish. All right, so it is just a little bit later and you can see that it's starting to open up a little bit. Still not the happiest camper, but it's gonna get there. Okay, so it's been a couple of days. I just did a water change. This is probably the worst possible time to be showing you this NEM because it's, it's hiding, but that's where it ended up settling. I had originally placed it just in this little crevice here and it only really moved a couple of inches up into that little crevice. So that's pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Haven't had to deal with any wandering NEMs for the most part. Um, but I, I fed it last night and it ate really, really well, was super keen, and my clownfish are ignoring it. So I just unplugged my filter for a sec just so you can get a little shot of how it looks from above. So you can see it's just kind of snuggled into that crevice. When it opens up, it takes up almost this whole little rock right here. This whole area. Wow, clownfish. <laughs> really happy with him so far. He's got lots of big bubbles on his tips and uh, hopefully he does well in this tank.
other thing I'm going to do in this video is I recently did not really a haul. You can see it right behind me here. It all fits on my shelf, so I don't count it as a haul. Did a big order from Hagen and got a number of products that I wanted to review. They were my Christmas presents for my fish, so I just kind of want to give my input on how they're doing in my tank. Should also point out, this video is not sponsored by Hagen or Fluval. I just happen to be able to get these things through work. However, if any of those companies would like to sponsor me, I... the first thing I got Timer. You may or may not recall the timer fiasco of my last video that resulted in my entire bedroom getting rearranged. It's very nice. I love it. My blue lights weren't on, but now they are. So festive. Just kidding. They're here all year round. I've been looking for a timer for my tank for a while. The original one that I wanted from Fluval has been, I think, discontinued. I can't find it anywhere. I went to order it. It wouldn't let me order it. So, I don't know. So, I ended up getting this one. So, this is the Glow timer actually took me forever to figure out how this thing works and I ended up having to go online and read some Amazon reviews to find better instructions than what came in the package so if I have one big complaint about this timer is that the instructions are trash how it works is it's got on this little black ring it's got these tiny little notches you press down all these little black notches for the time that you want it to be on so for me I wanted it on let me see here. I have it on from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And all of those are pressed down. The other thing they didn't tell you in the instructions is about this little red switch. It has this little timer sign on the bottom and down here it has this little line. So when this is pushed up, it means the timer portion is on. And when this is pushed down, it means it's off and just working as a regular outlet. Um, and that wasn't specified in the instructions. And I had to go online and ask a couple of people who have this timer in order to figure that out. So that's like the most basic function of the timer and it wasn't included on any of the paperwork. So that was like really frustrating. That said, I've had it running for a little bit over two weeks and I haven't had any issues with it. So once it was all set up and the times had been put in on the little black ring, it was really good. I had no problems with it. It was just that initial setup was a huge pain in the butt and took way longer than it should have. All right, so the next thing is if you follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen me make a post about this. And this is the Fluval Phosphate Remover. So what this is, is it's actually pretty cool. There are little little like sponge cartridges that just go in your filter media and apparently they help remove phosphates. I was a little skeptical about where I am still going through some algae issues. I figured what harm could it be to try it? So I put it in my tank about a month ago and believe it or not I have actually noticed a difference. My phosphates have always measured uh, immeasurable. Like when I test it they're always in the zero range but I know that they are present based on the growth in my tank. So what's happening there is they're being consumed by growth. <laughs> what this is doing is, although my numbers haven't changed on my test kit, I have seen a reduction in unwanted pest algae. So I'm very thankful for that. These are supposed to be replaced uh, every month and there's four that came in this package. So I'm actually just gonna take one out just so you can see it. It's a little green sponge. This is some quality content right here. Anyway, so that's what they look like. Not very big at all. Literally just slides into your filter media cartridge and you're good to go. It says on here that these ones are compatible with the Flex, Spec, and Evo lines if you're familiar with the Fluval tank. Honestly, I think if, this, if you can get this like in any of your media chambers, it would probably do the job. Mine was installed in one of my other media chambers. I only just moved it now to my media basket and I still had really good results. The next thing that I got, I was so excited to finally have. I've had it on order for a minute, so I was really glad that it finally showed up and that is a wave maker for my tank. This is the Fubal C CP1. So it is designed for tanks up to 15 gallons. I have the Evo 13.5. All this does is basically function as an extra power head. So it pushes lots of water through the tank, stirs up the current, gets the circulation really going, and that's really beneficial for your corals, for your anemones, and it also, again, helps lower algae issues. Algae has a hard time growing in really strong flow, so having this in there has also been really beneficial to kicking some of that algae out of my tank. I put this in about a week ago, and I was worried about how my fish were gonna do with it, and they've been fine. They didn't have any issues swimming in the current. I do turn it off at night just to lower the current a little bit, give them a break so they can sleep. I have two clownfish and a firefish and they were all fine. 
um, the clownfish play in it a lot. <laughs> they really enjoy uh, swimming into the current and then just like floating and letting it push them away. Always sketches me out. I always think they're sick. That's clownfish for you. Um, they're pretty silly sometimes. Next one, I only have the package for because it's already installed in my tank, so I'm not going to take it out. In the summer, I actually have to work really hard to keep it cool. So this one has been a long time coming, uh, but it's in there now. And I don't know, I mean, it's a heater. I don't really have a whole lot to say. The only thing that really bugs me about it, suction cups on it are pretty weak. So when I was positioning it in the tank, it came off a bunch of times and was kind of fussy to install in that sense. But now that it's in there, it's been good to go. I haven't had any issues with it so far. All right, so that is the end of this video. This is a little bit more of a chill video. Um, it's Boxing Day and I'm a little tired from all of the family socializing. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the just go with Reese. Hit the notification bell so you get a little email, some spam every time I upload. Luckily for you, I don't really have a regular upload schedule yet, so if you don't enjoy spam, you'll still be okay. So, all that good stuff, and I will see you next time.